I, I go to restaurants sometimes and you go to places and you're like, why didn't they put salt and pepper on before they cooked it? Because it brings out the flavor. It's You shouldn't be scared of seasoning. The title of the book came because I, I think maybe Ruth Reichel, she wrote a, an article about me at, at one of the restaurants, I think a long time ago at La Fourchette on the Upper East Side. And she I think she mentioned in the article that I seasoned with authority. And one of my favorite stories about seasoning is I have children and uh, we were at somebody's house and this other per this person was making broccoli for the kids. I said, do your kids like the greens that you make for them? She goes, well, no, they never like to eat the greens. I said, can we take those vegetables back? And I put some olive oil and salt and pepper on it and I put it on the kids' plates and the kids were like, oh my God, this is delicious. Why is this broccoli so much better? I said, because it was seasoned. And now that's where the season with authority came from. This is my first book. I'm very excited about it. It's a bit of the story of my life. And it was the first time I sat down and looked at my life and thought about it. So it was a bit of a therapy session writing this thing. But to me, it's always been about empowering people to cook their own food because I think cooking is a survival skill and I think people should know how to do it. All the recipes in here are very easy and very accessible. I don't go and get crazy, crazy ingredients you gotta go forage for or you gotta go to real specialty stores. It's ingredients and it's uh, techniques that are pretty simple so you can start doing your own variations. Don't just stick to a recipe. You gotta be able to like just sort of improvise and that's what cooking is all about. I don't have any guilty pleasures because every pleasure I have, I'm not guilty about it. It's one of those things that if I'm in Italy and I'm walking down the street and I want an ice cream, I'm gonna have an ice cream, I don't care. You know what, it's not a guilty pleasure, it's a pleasure. I don't have two or three ice creams a day, I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of like my health. And I think anything we eat, we drink, we live, we should always be happy with what it is. I would probably say the ingredient that I feel as though has to be there is probably mustard. Mustard is one of those things that for me, it goes into vinaigrettes, it goes it goes on rubs, it goes in marinades, it goes there. I mean, it's all, it's all over the place. I just love mustard. I think it's one of those ingredients I just, one can't live without. I mean, let's not get into salt and pepper and olive oil because I mean, life wouldn't be worth living without those too. But I think that onions are the backbone to a lot of dishes. I think that onions take on flavor, they transform flavor. You can use them raw, soak them in ice water to take the bite out. You can caramelize them, they get sweet. You can caramelize them and hit them with a vinegar, with sherry vinegar and steam them and they absorb the vinegar. It's really hard for me to cook without an onion. <laughs> Well, I have, I mean, I've lived all over the world. I've lived in France, Italy, and America, a, a couple of places. New York is where I've chosen to, to do my craft. If I was to pick another city, it would probably be Rome. I lived in Rome for about four years, and I just love, well, the weather's great, and the, the people are fantastic, and, and the food's pretty good, too. City Harvest, yes, I'm on the board. I absolutely love the organization. I think they do an amazing job. The money that goes into that organization goes out to the people, which is very important. I've supported them for many, many years. You know, being a chef, being a dad, um, thinking that kids are hungry, it's infuriating. I think that City Harvest does a great job of setting up mobile markets and empowering people to be able to get vegetables and they give them out for free. And, and the great thing is, is we have a lot of New York City chefs that go to these mobile markets and take the vegetables that they're giving away and demonstrate a dish that would be easy to make for people to replicate at home. And it's really, it's amazing to see the people's eyes light up and like, oh my God, I could just do this for my kids. <laughs> Thank you.